Swage lining technology has been used for the installation of polymer liner systems for internal corrosion protection in the oil and gas industry since 1995. This project, constructed on a spool base in the north of Scotland, involves lining 35 kilometres of 12-inch steel pipe with a PE100 material specified for water injection service, to be spooled and laid offshore by real ship. Individual stalk lengths being lined are up to 950 metres long. Swage Lining's polymer lining technology is suitable for other subsea pipe lay methods, including J-lay, pipe bundles, towing and horizontal directional drilling, as well as cross-country onshore construction. The process starts with carbon steel pipe stalks constructed to a designed length to accommodate available working space. Pipe installation lengths of up to 1,500 metres have been installed in single applications using swage lining. The polymer pipe material selected is designed, specified and procured to accommodate the required service conditions which the installed pipeline will see over its working life. Swage Lining Limited has bespoke software to facilitate liner pipe design. Polymer pipes are normally factory extruded in 18 meter lengths and transported to site for inspection and storage in preparation for welding and installation into the fabricated steel stalks. The liner pipes are drawn along firing line rollers and positioned into a butt fusion machine. Project specific weld procedures have been tested and qualified to ensure that optimum quality welds will be produced. Swage Lining Limited utilise fully automated welding machines to reduce variability and to maximise weld quality during production. All Swage Lining Limited's site welding staff are trained by the Welding Institute and are C-SWIP certificated for polymer fusion operations. The fusion process begins with the secured liner pipes having their ends trimmed to ensure a square cut and to remove any oxidation on the faces. The trimmer is then removed and the operator checks alignment of the pipe ends. A heater plate is then secured in the butt fusion machine and the pipe ends close on the plate under the conditions required by the weld procedure specification. When the correct temperature has been attained and the polymer is in a molten state, the butt fusion machine opens the heater automatically retracts and the ends are pushed together until a secure and homogeneous polymer weld is formed. The internal and external weld beads formed during the butt fusion process are removed using specifically designed cutting tools and retained for quality control inspection. The tested beads are then stored for reference. After cooling, the jointed liner pipes are moved along the firing line and successive pipes fused on until the required continuous length is achieved. The completed polymer strings must now be installed into the fabricated steel pipe stalks. Before installation, the fabricated steel stalks are strung with a winch wire and a cleaning and proving operation takes place to ensure the liner pipe will have a clear, unrestricted passage through the host. A suitably rated main winch wire is then attached to a designed polymer towing head which is fusion welded to the string. For the swage lining process, the polymer pipe outside diameter is designed and manufactured to a size slightly larger than the internal diameter of the steel host stalk. As tension is applied from the winch, the liner string is pulled through the swage lining reducing die in a controlled operation, which causes the polymer pipe to be reduced in diameter sufficiently to allow clear passage through the steel stalk. Whilst tension is maintained, the polymer pipe remains in its reduced state throughout the entire pulling operation. Swage Lining Limited's on-site engineers record all dimensions and towing loads during the process. The maximum towing load is restricted to 50% minimum yield strength of the polymer material selected. Once the liner has exited the steel stalk, tension is released and reversion takes place both axially and radially. 
the liner is allowed to continue reverting for a set period before excess material is trimmed off and end termination carried out. A selection of termination and connection methods may be employed with swage lining technology. This project utilizes the threaded hub connector system, which uses corrosion-resistant alloy clad end sections welded onto the steel stalk ends before liner installation. This allows a specially constructed composite polymer CRA threaded hub fitting to be used in the construction. After the liner pipe has reverted, a liner extension frame is positioned on the pipe stalk and connected to the polymer liner, which is then stretched hydraulically to a predetermined position and held. The prefabricated hub is then fusion welded onto the liner end using the same process as for forming line joints and beads removed. After cooling, the polymer liner is released and it then retracts into the pipe stalk. When the end termination reaches its designated position, a CRA fillet weld is made which secures it to the clad inner pipe surface. Any trapped air between the liner and the host is normally expelled as the liner relaxes, but additional conditioning may be carried out by hydrostatic charging before the completed stalks are connected together and spooled onto the delivery vessel for transportation and laying. Swage lining works with pipeline designers, constructors and operators worldwide to engineer, procure and install polymer lining systems to provide internal corrosion protection for pipeline systems supporting oil and gas development projects onshore and subsea.